Ooh. Ooh. They fancy. I know that's right. Talk about quality in the packaging, honey. Like, I know that's right. I'm so grown. I'm so gone. Even when I'm alone, I'm never lonely. Only call them up when I'm lonely. Yeah, I'm that bitch and I know it. And I don't even need nobody else to notice. I've been running through the hook up in my own shit. Headed to the crib, I got an ocean. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I do it all by myself. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Mo. And today, I'm going to be doing a review on this wig I received from Yolova Hair. They are a new hair company and they did reach out to me to review this wig. I'm very grateful for that and I look forward to reviewing this wig. So I haven't opened up the box. You guys can't see it. And let me just say this, y'all. The packaging is A1. Like the packaging is so freaking cute. They definitely took their time with their packaging. It's super cute and just very personable. This definitely makes them stand apart from other hair vendors. So I'm super excited to try this out. On the little like little thing over the box i don't know what to call this y'all but it says born for beauty a lasting natural looking solution and it says your little hair and then it just has their like social media and website here which i don't think y'all can see that but yeah so we're gonna get right into this review and like i said y'all i haven't opened it because look i wanted to open it with y'all so y'all can get 100 percent honest feedback either way i would give my 100 percent like honest opinion i know how it is to spend your money on something and not get what you expect to get this is their jerry curly and if y'all see me looking out i'm just because i'm trying to make sure i read this little description right but this is their jerry curly 13 by 4 lace front wig it's in 24 inches and it's also 180 density so i'm pretty excited to check this out and see what it's looking like so honey blonde color is definitely giving like beyonce vibes and i've never like a1 i don't really do curly hair except for like body wave or like water wave so like to have like a jerry curl and its color like girl we stepping up we stepping out and that's on what period <laughs> let's get right into this review this is cute this is super cute like their packaging is really cute and it sets them aside from these other vendors that just throw it in like a little raggedy little box you know what i mean so this is cute and then on here it says yolova and how do you open it oh oh they fancy i know that's right i know that's right talk about quality and the packaging honey like i know that's right look at this this is cute. This is so cute. Ooh. And then here's the box. Again, it just says Yoloba. And it has like their little slogan in the inside. And this is the bag that it comes in. It looks like it's like a little satin bag. This is cute with the little drawstrings. I like these little bags. I like when wig companies send these bags because you can like preserve your hair in the proper way and not just like throw it in there, you know what I mean? At least it's in a satin bag. But let's take a look. So, ooh, that's pretty. Let's see what's in here first. Okay, so what came in my package was some tweezers. Can never go wrong with tweezers. They also sent me some lashes. It comes with some lash glue as well. And some wig caps. So that's lit. <laughs> and um, okay, so that's it. So they gave me wig caps, lashes, and tweezers. Cool. So let's get into this wig child, because I was I was excited. I was ready. Like I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a picture beside like me right here so you can see what the wig is supposed to look like and what i got so you know all right y'all so first taken out of the bag it does it does kind of have a smell Yeah, it does kind of have a smell, like a process smell or um, like a process smell or just like a warehouse smell. But I'm just going to say that's because it's obviously been processed. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they just send it like this. Um, But it's so pretty. Like, this is cute. Let me take it out. This is so freaking cute. Like. Oh, it's definitely giving Beyonce vibes, honey. Like, we stepping out in this. Okay, so let's get into this lace front. This is a true 13 by 4. 
And as you can see, girl, this color is giving. It is freaking giving and it is so soft. Like it's so freaking soft. And the inside y'all, you'll get four combs, two on the sides and then one at the top and one at the bottom. You got your elastic straps here for usual. And you also got some lace in the back. I, I don't understand why they ever put this lace here, but I guess it's just, I, I don't know, honestly, I don't because nobody ever uses it, but <laughs> whatever. But um, as far as the hairline goes, it's not plucked at all. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, that's okay. Like at that point, like I don't, I don't be really tripping when like wigs aren't like, it's always a plus when they're plucked. But on the flip side, it's like, it's always cool when they're not plucked because you know, you can customize it to your liking. Like some companies, like when they over pluck, like, or they try and pluck it for you, like it makes the lace, like it makes the lace front thin. So then you can't really like, you know, you can't really get much wear out of it or you can't really work with it. But this one is nice and full. Yeah, I would definitely say this is nice and full. So what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to wash it and comb it out. Let me see if I'm getting any shedding. Okay, so I did get like one strand there. Okay, that was just that one strand. So I did just get one strand when I ran my fingers through it, but I mean, that's not a big deal. It's curly here, so I expect it to shed. So, um, yeah, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this wig just to kind of see if I can get that smell out. It's kind of like the smell of like when you get beauty supply hair from the beauty spot store. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's what it smells like. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess we're going to see. Yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and wash this wig. I'm going to comb it out so we can get the full effect and see what it's given. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I went and did my um, stocking cap method off of camera because I need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> um... And I'm literally like just using my phone little mirror. So I need to see what I'm doing. This is how they look after me bleaching the knots. Some of them didn't take, but majority of them did. And I can definitely see a major difference with me bleaching them versus not bleaching them. <laughs> just for reference, I left it on there for... 30 minutes for the first time and then I did an extra like 10 minutes because some of the ones in the front weren't lifting so that's the only reason it kind of over bleached a little bit but eh, you really can't see it it kind of over bleached a little bit I feel like but it's only because I went in for that second round um just to try and kind of lift some more of the hairs in the front but overall it still looks good and with this color you won't be able to tell so yeah, so let's get right into this wig install. Okay y'all, so getting right into this install, I'm about to just go ahead and cut off this excess lace that um, they put on the back of the neck. And these are the two lace tinting sprays that I'm gonna use. I, I already explained why I use these two different brands. It just works better for me in the last video. But yeah, these are the two um, lace tinting sprays I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my wig inside out and spray the lace evenly. You don't want to do it too close because you don't want it to seep through on the hair. Um, you want to do it kind of at least like, you know, at a good distance back and then just generously spray it. And then in between each layer that I do apply, I usually do like maybe one to two. It depends. Like it really depends. And then I also just between adding the two different colors, I go ahead and just try it on just to, you know, see how it's matching before I add any additional. And then just to make it a lot easier when we're installing our wig, I just use my wax stick to like push back the flyaways. I'm a beginner y'all, like I know the basics and the bare minimum to make it look good and presentable. Luckily this wig is like really beginner friendly so I didn't have to, I really did not have to do much this wig but install it. But um, yeah, that's all I'm doing, just kinda seeing how that color is blending in with my skin and then we're going to blend in our cap to our skin as close as possible i started off by using my eyeshadow because those shades of eyeshadow that i have they match my skin like really good but then i got lazy so i just honestly just started using the tint and spray and just sprayed it over my hair because i mean it's not gonna go all the way through anyway so i was like this is a lot easier and um yeah 
Okay, so then next we're just going to wipe our forehead clear of any um, makeup or anything or glue, anything of that nature, just to make sure that our forehead is clean and that the glue will adhere to our skin. So I'm going to be using the Esha wig glue and the primer. So as far as the primer, because it's like a spray bottle, I just take the end of my rat tail comb and just dip it in the bottle and then just spread it across my hairline. Just because like, I don't know, like I know it says it's waterproof, but I feel like if I spray it, it's going to cause my wig cap to come up. So that that's just how I do it and it works for me. But yeah, you just want to make sure it's thick on there and then you don't want to apply the glue until it's completely dry next we're going to go ahead and apply our glue so i just kind of dot it across my hairline and then i go from there with spreading out the glue on my forehead so i kind of do go over the wig cap just a little bit but luckily when i install my wigs i go over my forehead i do put a little bit where my baby hairs are just for security but i don't put a lot right there only because of the simple fact of like i don't want it to pull my baby hairs out i've not had that problem with this glue but i've had that problem in the past with ghost bonds so i'd be kind of you know sketchy about it but yeah like in between each layer you just want to make sure it dries clear and then you want to add at least two to three layers i, I do at the most three i don't go no more than that because this glue is strong y'all like it is so freaking strong so you don't need no more than two three layers of this glue and you just want to dry it until it's tacky and then once it's tacky then you're ready to lay your wig over it girl look at that hairline like I'm so proud of myself. That was my first time freaking bleaching knots. And I did that. Like, it looks so freaking good. And like all this time I was like, oh my God, I don't want to get a wig and mess it up. But like, girl, like I'm telling y'all, it's so easy. Like just watch a YouTube video, a beginner friendly YouTube video on how to bleach knots and you can do it yourself. Save your money, girl. Save your money. <laughs> So at this point, all I'm doing is just using my rat tail comb to mesh the lace into my skin. And then I go behind it with a little bit of free spray just for extra security. And then I'm just going to take my elastic band. I use a small one then I have a bigger one that I put over it just to make sure that thing is melted, girl, because we can't be having our lace sticking up or showing now. We want this to be given scalp. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that on there and while I'm letting the lace melt to my skin. Oh, y'all. OK, so right there, that's a good example. You can see where it like over bleached in the middle when I went in for round two with bleaching my knots. Um, but good thing is, if this happens to you, you can literally just take some eyeshadow or some powder foundation and just go over it. And it I mean, it'll blend just fine, y'all. But girl, that's the only thing. <laughs> we're bleaching your knots do not over bleach your knots it's better to under bleach it than to over bleach it um i went in for that second round because i'm a perfectionist and like majority of them i would probably say like 90 percent of the knots bleached on the first round of 30 minutes but then like it was still some that didn't lift so i went back in for a second round for like 10 minutes and then that's when it caused the over bleaching but yeah y'all it still look good it still look good so now that our lace is melted into our skin we're gonna go ahead and just rake away any flyaways just so we don't cut it when we cutting off the lace i also use my hot comb just to better style it and get those flyaways out of the way <laughs> And then I'm just going to make sure, just to make sure for extra, you know, extra security that is fully dry. Because like I said, we want this install to be given very much scalp. So I'm just going to go over it with my blow dryer. And I cut little snippets in my lace around the perimeter just to make it easier to cut. And then I just um, use my razor blade and then I cut it that way. 
I actually just started using my razor blade and it's so much easier to get that jagged look versus using scissors and it comes out looking more natural. So I definitely recommend when you're cutting your I lace would just say to when you use using razor your razor blade. blade just to be like patient and be careful because you don't have as much control over the razor blade as you do scissors. Yeah, this is how it's looking thus far, looking really nice and very sleek and melted. Um, but once we do our baby hairs and we really style it, girl, it's going to come together. So um, I'm just taking out the sections that I want to use for my baby hairs. And then I just take my tweezers and just pluck it. Now, when I plug, I do use the sharper end. And then um, that's how I pluck it. You want to make sure that you don't stay in the same spot else. You can create a bald spot. I have done that before. And you can't really change it. Once it's gone, it's gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, just take your time plucking. If you do decide to pluck, you know, everybody likes their baby hair is different to each his own. Um, I don't like mine like too thick. I like them to look as natural as possible. So I do plug them. But now I'm just cutting my baby hairs to my desired length. And I'm going to use some got to be glue um, gel. I use the black tube along with my edge brush and just swoop it, girl. Just swoop it. <laughs> I'm not the best with baby hairs, but, you know, I try and keep in mind, like, you want your wig to look as natural as possible and look as close as possible to, like, you know, like, real hair. So, like, I just imagine it being my hair and it just helps me a lot better. Because I think the whole, like, wig thing just be having me, like, overthinking it and overdoing it. And it's, like, easier than it, you know what I mean? Like, it's easier than you think. Girl, so that's how we looking thus far. I have my ear tabs out because I, oh, oh yeah, I did decide to do those. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I decided to do them, y'all. But yeah, I did cut some hair from the ear tabs there just to give me some um, baby hairs down there. Because I just, I wasn't going to, I was debating on it, but I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural doing it that way. I was actually going to go for it and install with no baby hairs and just do lace, but I was like, nah, like... With this heat child, my lace probably, my, my lace luckily be looking crazy by the end of the day. So, but yeah, after I did my baby hairs, I used the Shine and Jam mousse that she used for braids. And I just put along the perimeter of my lace just to give it that more sleek look. Um, I know people you be using like the Lot of Body and I think it's another brand. Um, I can't, that might be the Lot of Body. It's like in a blue bottle. It's like blue or it's like clear in a blue bottle or something like that. It might be a Lot of Body, but I know they use those mousses to like really like sleek your hairline and melt the lace in, but I don't know. I feel like this one works best for me and it works really good on my hair. So I was just like, okay, look, we just going to use what we got and it gets the job done. So yeah, I'm just putting it along my perimeter of my lace and then I'm just going to tie that up and let it melt girl. And while we doing that, we're going to style our hair. So again, I'm just using my wax stick to push back those flyaways and then my hot comb just to kind of like hike it up a little bit i was trying to give it that beyonce look you know how like when beyonce wears her like big curly kinky hair like it's not like in her face but it is in her face you know what i mean like she kind of like hikes it back and then it's kind of like sitting over her face if that makes sense this probably don't even make sense but you 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 get what i'm saying you'll you'll see by the end what look i was talking about All right, and then lastly, I'm just going in and further defining that part. I didn't want it like perfect, perfect because I mean, it's, it's curly hair. Like it's not meant to be like sleek and perfect looking, you know what I mean? But I did just want to further define that part. And then that's it, girl. That is it. And we're about to reveal the final look. Yes, honey. Yes, girl. You better work. <laughs> yes ma'am this wig is definitely giving oh and not with the hair flip like it's definitely giving scalpy like <laughs> i love 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 this wig y'all as you can see i'm enjoying myself and let's get into the feedback this is the final outcome of my hair um it's been a few days actually y'all <laughs> 
I know you so I know somebody gonna be like dang like she changed like three only I would notice this I feel like and like dang she changed like three times throughout this whole video like mind your business I don't mind mine <laughs> but yeah y'all this is how the hair turned out um I actually didn't do anything to it it's been a few days now and I didn't do anything to it I just when I go to sleep I put it in like a low pony and then I just braid the ponies out because I tried to twist it the first night, but then it came a little, it was like a little, not matted, but like the curls lost their definition. But I would definitely recommend with this hair, you want to braid it overnight, put like two braids in it or put it in the low pony like I'm doing and like, you know, braid the ponies out just to keep the curls so you don't have to keep putting product in it. And that's actually worked for me. So I literally, like I said, I didn't do anything to it. I just took the um, braids out, just kind of fingered through it like, like so. And yeah, that that was pretty much it. And like, I love this look. Um, at first, y'all, when I was taking it out of the package, I did think like I was like, I don't think this is 180 density. But y'all, this is definitely 180 density, and it is true to length. I'm five three, and I'm gonna show you. I'm five three, and it's coming down. I got foam is cracked. <laughs> I'm 5'3 and it comes down like literally a little bit below my butt. So this is definitely true to length. It's definitely 24 inches. It's definitely 180 density and a 13 by 4 laced front wig. On another note, I didn't get any shedding. Even when I was styling the hair, I didn't get any shedding. So this is a really good wig, especially for curly hair. Like I'm not going to lie y'all. Like I was expecting it to shed. But it really didn't. I have to say, if I had to like nitpick, then the only time I actually experienced like any kind of shedding is when I would brush it with my little like demi brush. But that's when I was brushing it dry. You definitely want to brush it while it's wet and use some type of detangling formula because it's curly hair and then do it. But I mean, aside that, y'all, like this hair is A1. Like, it's, it's really good hair. The proportion of the highlights is bomb. Like it looks so freaking good on me. This is hair you can wear from the summer to the fall. Like you can wear it year round just because of the way it's styled. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, the only thing y'all like is when I was bleaching the knots, um, it did like give me a little bit of a problem. The first round I did for 30 minutes. I left the bleach on there for 30 minutes and pretty much all of them lifted but it was still like it wasn't major I mean I honestly could have I could have left it but me being me and being like a perfectionist I wanted all the knots going so um the first round it pretty much like bleached all the knots but there was a few spots that were just not bleaching so I did put it on there for an additional like 10 to 15 minutes and I started like noticing it was kind of over bleached and it only over bleached like in the middle here so maybe I should have just did it on the parts where it was like not turning but um yeah I mean it wasn't too crazy I was able to fix it it's already like color and it's ombre so it's not that big of a deal like it's really not but um yeah y'all like this hair is it this wig is it go ahead and get you this wig go ahead and get you a wig that's gonna last you and you can wear it through the year round also guys make sure you use my discount code most styles to get 15 percent off of this wig definitely come in handy when it especially when you're talking inches and you're talking density any kind of savings come in handy y'all so definitely take advantage of that let me know your experience with this wig if you ask me they got they got my they got my vote hands down like they got my vote like i love 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 this wig um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this long ass video i know it was long but i wanted to make sure it was detailed and you know you got the point before you spend your money so yeah and you to stay safe stay sane stay positive and continue to uplift others around you especially in this time y'all everybody needs it so check on your loved ones check on your friends just check on a stranger just be there for people in general like because right now things is crazy and it's gonna be like this for a while so just yeah just be that light that somebody might need in their life right now so yeah y'all thank you so much for watching this video love you guys so much Oh,